Nigel, you don't know, miss your mom. Nigel. Nigel, you don't miss your mom and your dad. Nigel, I'm not calling you. Nigel, I'm not calling you. Hi, my sweet son. You don't miss mommy and daddy. I love you, sweet boy. Look at mama. Oh, okay, my boy. It's a rainy day here in Barbados. Here we go. As you can see, well, we have the screen up. But yeah, there we go. The screen is pretty awesome though. It's not one of those screens where you close it in, but it's it's actually Velcroed. That's actually pretty tight. <laughs> but yeah, it's a rainy day here in Barbados. And we're actually supposed to go see Harrison's cave today. We were supposed to go earlier this week, but um, apparently they don't do tours on the weekdays. So we have to book our tour for the weekend this Saturday. Um, but yeah, so we're getting ready to go do that now. So don't go anywhere. Stay locked. No. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not authentic enough, is it? <laughs> nah, just don't go anywhere. We'll be, we'll be updated. We, we, we'll keep you posted. All right. Bye, right, guys. We just jumped into the taxi. We're on our way to Harrison's cave. It's still raining. Not sure how I feel about going into a cave in this weather. How about you? So we'll see. Apparently, it's good. Um, that's what my cousin's daughter said. And she's been there like five times times a hundred <laughs> what a father said so yeah but if we don't get to go now we will never get to go again so because they only open on weekends on weekends right? yeah. they only do the tours on weekends so we are uh, we tried to go on Tuesday when it was a free day but yeah they didn't, they didn't have anything so we had to book for today which is Saturday so so we had so when we get there, we'll, we'll, we'll check back in. We made it. Oh, where's the light? Okay, so we made it. We thought we would not have made it in time, but our our um scheduled time was 12 o'clock, and we were supposed to be here like 11:30. But um, because of the rain and everything, it kind of messed us up today. But nevertheless, we are here, and it seems like we are still on time. So that's okay. It's like 10 to 12, so we are good. Uh, my husband did a fantastic job with um, booking our seats. So I'm happy about that. And um, so our spot is secure and we are good. So let me see what the man of God is up to. Look at him right over there. Ooh, isn't he fine? He is. 
All right. So let me see what this is all about. I'm super excited because I've never done this before. Darren did this when he was five. Right, babe? Huh? You did this at five when you were five? Uh, probably, yeah. Five or six. I have a picture. I have to ask my folks with how old I was. But I think five or six. Right. Like okay. Next in line, please. Okay. All right. We're about to check in. think is the most adventurous between Darren and I just comment below let us know uh, but I think I am simply because Darren is a pretty routine type of person he has to know everything before he tries anything except skydiving I would do skydiving yeah you do skydiving but that doesn't make you adventurous because you want to do one thing anyway so discovering new things that's me oh it's somebody's birthday yes oh, happy birthday happy birthday princess so i was determined for us to come here today but darren felt like so what i'm going to do now is bring you on the inside so we can start your video presentation I am senior Tori Guy, so I am going to hand you over to Gabriel. All right. Oh, hi, Gabriel. Gabriel is having her birthday today. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah. Just sorry. All right. It's beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, we'll catch up later on this conversation. Okay, it's time so to have some fun. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> She was the one who told me earlier that she's more adventurous. Okay, so my friends, we're ready for you. Mm -hmm. So we just finished the presentation on the cave. So and now we're, like we're heading over into the, the actual cave oh, itself, the turn right. Oh, you guys, you guys are together. So now we're heading into the actual cave. We're going to be on a tram. And it's going to take us into the cave, um, actual tour of what we saw on pictures. So that should be good. Okay.
Guess who is scared now? She's friends. So guess who's scared now? I'm scared. I thought, I'm scared. I thought she was at I'm scared. Yes, because they turned off the lights here. That scares me. <laughs> oh my God. But this is cool. Face on the wall. Face on the wall. All right. So apparently, guys, there's a face on the wall. If you look right here, the eyes and the nose and the mouth right here. That is that is cool. Let me try my face. Try your face. Are you still scared? This is crazy. We are underground. About a hundred. What did you say? Hundred and thirty. No, hundred sixty feet below underground. Yeah, I think that's what you said. Hundred sixty feet below. Sorry, hundred sixty feet below the surface. My God. So what? How, how do you feel under here? Like. I feel adventurous. I can't imagine how Tony Mason and the other Danish guy, I don't know his yeah. name. Uh, I think I read Tony Mason. It's like he's a local. surreal. It's but it like, is surreal. Yeah. I mean, you've seen the pictures before, or the video before, how everything is just looks And the so, water is springing on your skin. Uh, it's because it's, it's um, the, how they said, the, the stalagmites and stalact, stalagmites and stalactites, I think that's what it's called. They form by dripping water um from top to bottom yeah uh, you can hear it on my helmet and it drips and it drips and it drips see and that, it drips so that. that all we're doing is water y'all see that y'all see that y'all see that y'all yes i'm gonna i'm gonna flip the camera so you can see exactly what we're seeing one second all right guys so we're in the cave and this is what we're seeing you can see the water dripping or no yeah you can see it if you look if you look carefully you can see some drips oh yeah Harrison's cave, that's where we at. But this is truly an amazing Whoa, I just got slapped right in my mouth with uh some water. But this is truly amazing though guys. If you are in Barbados, come to Harrison's Cave. One of the world's natural wonders. And this is another one of the world's most beautiful wonders right there. Walking into the tram. And to think that a little over 50 years ago, this was none of this existed. Well, the caves existed, but this whole attraction did not exist. One of the best experiences I've ever had in my entire life simply because I was with my husband and also we were underground it was like a life and death situation in my opinion no it was yes like if it's either we make it out or we don't no it wasn't but it was a good experience it was Charming really good scary. listen Charming may let you all believe that she's more adventurous but she's a big scary cat I'm not it's just that it got scary when they um turned the lights off don't do that. Don't turn the lights off on the ground. Don't do that again, Harrison Scave. <laughs> that was crazy. But apart from that, everything else was good. It was really, really good. I would do this again probably in the next five to ten years. I would do this again with Nigel. Um, no, you're not bringing my son down here. I would bring Nigel here to see Harrison Scave. Because mm. it's an it's a, it's a educational experience for him. Um... So happy that I finally got to do that.
dance. So I just ordered some wings, um, mustard wings, and thank you, and garlic ginger, garlic ginger wings, okay, we'll try it out and see, I can tell you from now, Darren is going to be super upset with me, because for him it's like, why not just keep it simple, just get normal chicken wings. But for me, that's so boring. Like trying new things, right? So, babe, I know you're gonna get vexed, but I just ordered us uh, some garlic ginger wings. And I think some other one with mustard or some story like that. So I was like, you're gonna get upset with me, but that's okay. What's new? Um, what's new is trying something new. That. Yeah, trying something new. So. And we're on camera, so even if you get upset. What do you want me to do? Oh, see? well, I have the support of Team Charmaine watching. Come on, give me some hearts. Give me some likes. Definitely give us a share button or hit the share button. So let me talk to the wives a little bit. How do y'all deal with your spouse, your husband, who is super, mm, how to say, he just sticks to the routine of things? Like, Okay, so let me let me talk to the wives a little bit. I need to know how y'all deal with that because having an amazing husband is the best thing in the world. My husband is an amazing man. But one of the things I can't deal with him with is about is um concerning his um preference for routine, right? Like this man will never say let's try something new. For him is like why try new things when what you've been always doing when it comes to like adventurous things adventurous activities or date nights or whatever why try new things when you could just stick to what you know why because doing the same thing is kind of boring Darren yeah it's really boring so try new things inspires you it motivates you it keeps the fire burning all these things but the man of god just likes routine when it routine. comes when it comes to those things routines are predictable you can set your clock to it you can know that but, this is supposed to happen at a specific time and you don't care you can never have um missed expectations when you have a routine everything you see when i go i i if i go to eat i order a category of things chicken fish beef and i never get disappointed because there's no way that any any, any chef can mess up any one of those three things i never i never get disappointed because i have a routine anyway so last night we went out and i ordered um i ordered what did i have lamb yeah you got lamb there there are like a lot of other things on the menu that Darren could order right i have he, my fish food he chose fish fillet and I'm like why you chose fish fillet like and she said that my fish was better than her lamb. no I never said that wow. I never said that don't lie I never said that I was like okay it tastes good that's it but it's not better than my lamb it wasn't better than my lamb it was not better <laughs> <laughs> that's not what she said listen it was not better Charmin, than my Charmin lamb Charmin said that hmm your fish is good and she yes. had must like three more bites because oh I was hungry and but I wanted... Had, she had like four racks of lamb. No. How many racks of lamb It was two. Three. It was, more than, it was more than two. It was two. Two big ones. My routine was able to help her satisfy her hunger because the lamb wasn't enough. See? Somebody has to be routine or else it would be a problem. Anyway, we are waiting on our fries that I ordered for us that are different than what you usually order which is regular fries not regular fries regular regular wings sorry 
wings so when the wings come out I'll let you guys know uh, but I didn't even finish my question my question was to the wife how do y'all deal or cope with hus your husband who's like this one like no, what's wrong with this one I'm pretty sure basic like you yeah, know like there are different stuff. plans that you can that you can purchase when it comes to internet or, or services and stuff so tell me I'm a he basic plan? is a definite basic plan that this is when you think of depth of basic plan think about this guy Look at I don't even know if I don't, I don't this know. This is a basic plan I, here. I don't know if I'm to feel no, it's that's okay. a compliment I love or if you. I'm to feel insulted by I that. I love you just the way you are. I was just asking the women of God who are watching, how I, do you cope with that? By calling and me two, basic? two, if you were not basic, then I wouldn't be important in your life because I'm definitely the upgrade. Hey! I'm the upgrade. I'm the upgrade. <laughs> All right, this is too much excitement and I haven't even drank my Spritas yet, so... And then y'all know. Um, we gotta go? Oh. Yeah, so we have to go out. Okay, let's pay, let's pay for the food. I took other people's Sprite, ordered, and did not pay for the wings. So let's pay for the wings and then we can get out of here as soon as the wings are done. Hopefully it doesn't take long. But Barbados owes us nothing. Barbados has been super great to us, um, but there's more. So, we'll see you soon.